So like I was saying, I just want to know if this stain on my pants shows. Okay. I'm thinking about starting if you guys are ready. Yeah! Woo! All right. Ish. Okay, so uh, I know a bunch of you had the same problem I did. You went off and lost a week of open stage, and you're a little lost, but we're back. It's okay. How many people did not go wacky camping over Memorial Day weekend? Okay, so a couple people didn't actually lose their minds. For those of you who did go wacky camping, for those of you who did, anything you can't, it's been like two weeks, anything you can't handle is actually your problem. <laughs> I just want to get that out of the way now before we, we dive in. And while you were gone, I, I need to throw a quick shout out. Um, Big Bill, who's down there snuggling. <laughs> Little G, who's up front, doesn't get to see the show because he's our security guy. And myself, we're at the Dallas City Arts Festival busking because we were actually invited to street perform. And here's where it gets cool. I mean, that was awesome. And it's important to note that that was G's first street performance. And his hat came home with some bills, which of course I took for you know business administration purposes. It's part of the job. It's the perk. I got a dollar. It was good. But he did good. Bill did great. I did all right. We, we compared notes at the end, I was embarrassed. But I had an adventure happen and I wanted to share it. I had, I had two things happen that I thought were pretty significant. The first one was a little boy walked up and stared at me like this. <laughs> and it was really cool and his mom finally sneaks up behind him and says the coolest thing I've ever heard a mom say. Said, when you like a performer, you give them a dollar. I don't know your name, but if you ever see this, good answer. <laughs> the other thing was similar, but equally cool and possibly more cool. I had a little run-in with the police while I was out there. And everybody's been waiting for this to happen. You know, we're starting to do some street performance, starting to take the idea of taking some of the stage stuff out into the world, get people used to the idea. And I had a golf cart roll up on me. And I'm not mocking the police for riding golf carts. It was 95 degrees, and they had like eight miles of ground to cover. So by the time they got to us, th that was just a good idea. And this cop rolls up on me in his cart, and he does one of the he does the finger with the mirror shades. And he's like, and he opens his hand, and a dollar falls out and lands in my hat. And he goes, "You're amazing." Yeah. I want everybody to say thank you, Officer Ken who completely changed my opinion about street performance and the way the police are going to react to it. He actually took 20 minutes to sit me down and talk to me about some of the laws, uh, clarified a few things for me, and the police, while there are some laws that do restrict what we can and can't do, the Dallas Police Department is incredibly on our side. Yeah. And I, I can't thank you enough for that because we're trying to change this culture. We're trying to get where we can have street performance. I know we've got some guys that have seen at restaurants. I know we've got people at coffee shops. But we're talking about getting out to festivals, getting out onto the street, and getting to bring good art where people who might not be able to come to a theater get to see it. And I am just really excited and wanted to share that with everyone. <laughs> and with that report, I have no injuries other than a lot of heat exhaustion. And what happened at Wacky Camping stays at Wacky Camping. I don't want to know. And I want to get this on the road with a returning performer since we're all returning this week. Oh wait, before we start, who's, who's new for the first time? Okay, give him a cheer. That's a pretty good crowd. That's, that's, a, that's a real good crowd. How many people have been here since the very first open stage? Yeah. New people, make friends with these people. They have mental problems, but they're very, very social and you should become good friends with them, so do that, okay.